from Endolite, a breakthrough in prosthetic design and philosophy. The Echelon prosthetic foot has been developed by Blatchford, the world's most experienced manufacturer in prosthetics. Echelon has a unique variable angle hydraulically controlled ankle. It uses a carefully researched synthesis of cutting edge Formula One racing materials for lightness and durability, for resilience and flexion. Taken from nature, developed using biomimetics, the ankle flexion gives supreme adaptability. Controlled by hydraulic pressure, the angle of the ankle duplicates a natural foot action. The first thing we did was ask ourselves, well, how, is the natural, how are the natural joints controlled? We've used the gait analysis instruments to understand the effect the prosthesis has on posture. And what we found is that we can produce a much more natural control of posture when you use echelon. And we can see dynamically how the force is carried through the prosthesis. In a conventional prosthetic foot, the angle of the ankle remains in a neutral position, with the result that during swing phase, the toe effectively drags unless the prosthesis is raised abnormally to clear the ground. This leads to additional call on remaining muscles and abnormal stress on the skeletal joints, which stress the body unnecessarily. The hurdle was, was almost challenging what we think we knew, because we were introducing something completely new. Conventionally, our foot is aligned relative to the body. It has a specific geometrical position. But suddenly, with the introduction of hydraulics, we were actually removing one of these restrictions. So that had an effect on the body, which we had to understand. And once we understood this process, it became clear that actually with the correct alignment, we then get, would be able to facilitate this natural adaptive behaviour. We can see with this conventional foot that there is no adaptation of the foot to stay flat on the floor in a variety of sitting positions. The toe stays raised at a fixed angle to the leg. Under the same circumstances, Echelon adapts. As the foot stays flat, there is less strain on stump and muscles and a more stable platform for a subsequent rise and walk away. The adaptive quality of the hydraulics means that it can generate different forces at different angular positions. And actually that's very similar to the way muscle works. And once we do that, we, can, we actually create a, a relaxation type behaviour that occurs in the socket. Because the amputees will feel the foot through proprioception through the forces in the socket but the hydraulics will then move to self-align to facilitate this natural posture so standing on a ramp is effectively as comfortable as standing on level ground. A conventional foot forces the leg to one position. This can be optimized for walking on the flat but it would not adapt to an incline and will force an unnatural posture and so stress the rest of the body. We can see with this conventional foot that the body is swaying from the hip to maintain balance on this incline. But the posture is straight with echelon. This translates into easier and stress-free walking on a variety of slopes. The mechanical design team and hydraulic design team are an extraordinary challenge in developing this foot because it's extraordinarily difficult to design a structure that mimics the way the natural body does but can also withstand repetitively all the impact loads that we see in the natural foot. So we want to go through a lot of testing to ensure that we are generating the correct resilience in the ankle but also that it will withstand um, the prolonged use in, in the field. One way of thinking about the function of the foot is actually like a mechanical cam. There's a profile that we actually produce as we interact with the ground, as we transfer weight across the foot. And one of the interesting features of the biological foot is that it's able to preserve this mechanical cam shape. And what we found with the hydraulics introduced in the ankle is that we're actually able to preserve this shape to a much greater degree. And the analysis of a foot this way, called rollover shape analysis, is a very new way of understanding and analysing the biomechanics of feet. With your leg, it's it affects everything right through your pelvis up to your back and your spine and through your neck. And to get um, symmetry and balance and stability 
um, to travel all the way up because what you'll find is your upper body counterbalances the rest so um, for everything to be very um, symmetrical and level it was it was very surprising that that came from from just a foot. The echelon is different because we conceived it from the outset to be optimum or self-optimizing for a wide range of environments and it then gets back into this philosophy about biomimetics tapping into and harnessing and promoting the natural adaptive behavior that we see in nature. In two particular factors and one of those is key and first of all is the maneuvering of the bike uh, especially this one it's quite a heavy bike and it's quite high up so that the the ability of the um, the ankle to move allows me when I'm pushing the bike backwards and forwards it's more natural and allows me to balance the bike better when I'm maneuvering so that makes it a lot easier. The, the other aspect is being able to stand up on the pegs now not that you do that often on the road but off-road that's quite key again for maneuvering a bike um, on a fixed ankle um, on a carbon fiber foot with springs uh, you don't have much maneuverability you, you tend to have a knee that's locked and you almost feel like you're falling off the peg all the time whereas with the echelon you can flex the knees you can stand up you can jump up and down on the pegs it, it makes a big difference but actually having a limb that is more natural in the gait, so you're not having to adjust your gait to suit the limb. The limb's suiting it to you, if you, if you can imagine that. You feel more comfortable, therefore you f you're more happy to do things within it. Within it. Um, as you've seen when we went f uh, flying um, just a minute ago. Climbing up quite a steep hill on rough terrain, carrying you know, a substantial weight. You do that with a fixed ankle, it becomes very, very difficult. You really are having to think about putting one leg in front of the other and, and throwing yourself forward over the top of the limb. Whereas with the, this new leg, you, you, you're walking as, as you would do normally. But the, the transition phase is almost going from a, a learned experience back to historical experience. So you, you were just to accommodate the, 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 the limbs that I had in the, in the past. But with this, it was going back to not walking normally. Um, and it's no, nothing short of an epiphany, really. Biomimetics literally means mimicking nature. And we use this as an innovation and design process. It is a concept where the solutions are inspired by nature directly. The echelon foot actively manages the forces that are transmitted through to the socket, which helps posture. Because the foot, a not conventional foot, which, does, which lacks an adaptive quality, would be pushing and pulling on the body, which would cause a lot of postural adaptations, a lot of muscle control. And therefore the whole activity of walking over different environments becomes more efficient. The outcome of having an adaptable system is that you no longer need to think about what kind of shoes you're wearing or even think about what environment you're walking or standing in because the hydraulics of the ankle simulates the adaptive qualities of the muscle and becomes altogether a natural way of walking.